All right, enough Premier League. Uh, how about some quick hits instead? Let's go, Gab. Bayer Leverkusen beat up Werder Bremen 5 0 to win their first ever German title. It's a Florian Wirtz hat trick. Jules, we knew this was happening. Yeah. What a ride it has been. Incredible. Still unbeaten now. Was it 44 games or something? 43, I 43. believe. 43. Remarkable. Undefeated, of course, still now. I don't know if they can keep it up until the end of the season. Now that they've won it, they might relax a little bit, but they're very capable of. Incredible. Xabi Alonso for his first full season as manager. Winning the title is incredible and he can still win the, the German Cup and he can still win the Europa League as well. To see Florian Wirtz after the injury that he had coming back to this kind of level, what a genius. Granit Xhaka, maybe a few eyebrows were raised when they signed him for 20 million from Arsenal in the summer. Yeah. Then you're like, really? My eyebrow was raised. Yeah, not mine because I knew how important it could be more in the leadership. No, but you don't have to pull that face. It's true. More for the leadership. No, I, I was wrong. I team. was wrong. Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't. Maybe you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was but, wrong. And, and everything, you know, from Grimaldo to Frimpong to Boniface, all, well, I mean, what a season. They're having do, do you know what impressed me most, Jules? I looked at of the 13 players who played the most minutes in the league, uh, nine of them were there before Xabi Alonso arrived, right? Yeah. So how often do we see the manager comes in, he's like, oh, I'll need seven transfer windows to bring in my players. I hope the club backs me. Yeah. It's not what Xabi Alonso did. Xabi Alonso took the guys who were already there. That's Jeremy true. Frimpong, a great example, yeah. and made him better. Jonathan Ta made him better. Lucas yeah. Radetzky made him better. Um, the only guys they brought in were Hoffman, who, you know, on a release cost, 10 million. Yeah. Boniface, who, yeah, scored a lot of goals, did really well. This is a guy who couldn't break double figures to the Belgian league. The aforementioned Shaka at 31, who, let's face it, was surplus to requirements at Arsenal because if he wasn't, Arsenal, he would he have signed a new left on his contract. So. He would have been given a new contract um, and he would have taken it. No, if I'm he not felt, sure. It would have if given he felt, one year. Oh, yeah, no, it was always his dream to go live in Leverkusen. No, no, it's not that. I don't what? think he would have taken one year at 31. No, no, but you would have given him more than one year if Arsenal mm -hmm. believed it was necessary sure. to keep him. Yeah, I'm not, no, no, sure. I'm not blaming Arsenal think. here, yeah, but it's yeah, obvious, yeah. right? Like yeah. Declan Rice is coming. What are we going to do with this dude? Nuff, right? Yeah. Um, and I am, I made me forget who the fourth guy was. Grimaldo. Oh, and Grimaldo. Grimaldo, right? The, 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 the circus act with the free kicks in, in Benfica. Grimaldo, who has two more caps for Spain than you do. He's 28 years old. Yeah. He's been there the whole time. I, I don't want to go through the list of people who played left back for Spain, uh, you know, after Jordi Alba, right? Uh, the, 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 the geeks and freaks, and nobody considered Grimaldo. These are the four guys he brought in. Yeah, yeah. The other people are people who were local and who he made better, from, from Palacios to Hincapié. I mean, this is impressive. Andrew, yeah, it's really impressive. And they were 17th when he took over, like kind of this yeah. uh, last season. Uh, and now they're champions. Well done. Incredible. And Gab, this is only the third ever piece of silverware uh, in more than 100 years of history at the club. They finished second loads of times, the fa famous Never Cousin. Uh, nickname and yet some traditional German fans still call them a plastic club. Yeah, and look, I, this is because they are owned by Bayer, the pharmaceutical giant. And when they introduced the fifty plus one rule, they got an exemption exemption in nineteen ninety nine, and they don't fit the fan control model. Which, whichever way you feel about it, certainly they're less offensive than Leipzig yeah. or, or Hoffenheim in yeah. in that sense, and. Whatever, the fans who go there, the fans who suffered, the, the fans who saw them, remember they were on the verge of the treble in, in 2001 or two, yeah. and they frittered away a five go, a point lead with three games to go, and uh, they lost a German Cup final, and they lost to that Zidane fella in yeah. Glasgow. I, this hurts. This yeah. hurts. This, this, this to me is, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for those fans who were there and stuck it out. Mm -hmm. And Plastic Club, whatever, uh, fourth highest wage bill in Germany. And I think that tells you what you need to know. Goes from Rafael Guerrero, Paris born and bred, and Thomas Muller give a must change by and a 2 0 win over Korn. God, they're still good for second place, right? Yeah, they, they, I mean, they're head to head with Stuttgart, who also won, so that's up in the air. I don't think, who cares? Second, yeah, third, who second, cares yeah, yeah stage, really honestly. Um, what I thought was interesting is they're, they're sort of auditioning for the left back position. I think it should be Guerrero. That's yeah, how no. it started, but um, started Guerrero in midfield, whatever. Um, but yeah, the focus is entirely on buying, uh, on, uh, sorry, on, um, on Arsenal midweek. By the way, Matisse Tell, he should play every minute of every game between now and the end of the season at this point. Who cares if he finished second or third? I know. And by the way, Kingsley come on with a really bad groin injury that might miss the Euro, which was really, really bad news.
Leipzig beat up Wolfsburg 3-0 to stay neck and neck with uh, Borussia Dortmund in fourth place. Jules Daniel almost scoring again. Yeah. Not just him, but his friend Sesco and Openda yeah. too. Yeah, oh, Sesco Openda, great partnership up front, great performance again. They have, they've been fantastic for most of the season, really. Yes, sometimes they drop points and they were maybe a little bit inconsistent. But what a job Marco Rosa has been doing and what a great race for fourth we have behind Leverkusen, Bayern and Stuttgart between Dortmund and, and Leipzig. So let's see. May the, be may, may the best win, is that what you say? May the best... The made best. the best team win. Yeah. And speaking of Dortmund, they also won this weekend. They beat Gladbach away 2-1. Although, once again, they make life very difficult for themselves. It's just so stupid. All I the mean, time. I part of, they, they, they're 2-0 they're, they're up. 2-0 up. Manage the freaking game. Again, we've said this so many times. And you 2-0 up and are, some of it out of their hands. You get Haller, then he gets hurt and whatever. Fine. But Kareem freaking at the end. Dude, know, you go like nine Too months without scoring. You come back, you have a couple of good games, you're the fastest things on, 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 on two legs, and then you get two yellow cards in the space. Of, I, so for what? It. You get yourself sent off and you leave them to play with, with, with 10 men the rest of the way. So this silly. really matters. Yeah, it does. I, 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 you want to blame Terpsich? Fine. He's going to be the fall guy for this, but it's got to be so yeah, frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. 